Hi, I'm Tony and welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Wolf Fortitude textile jacket. It's Wolf's sports touring textile jacket that's new for 2020 and it costs £349.99. Wolf as a brand has been around for yonks and they always historically made discreet kind of subtle textile and leather clothing but about five years ago they made a departure from that and they went off down the kind of bike shed line doing cafe cool type stuff but it didn't really work out for them and now they're back they're back doing what they do best which is subtle discreet kit like this fortitude so looking across the outer it's made from 750 denier nylon a brushed nylon finish which has a kind of more robust feel than polyester it's got a matte finish to it rather than the shiny finish that you'd get from polyester it's abrasion resistant and that's enough to meet the basic level a in the ce standings and the difference with this is any of the wolf stuff in the past is that the waterproof membrane is laminated to the back of it laminate's a bit of a buzzword for 2020 and beyond lots of brands are introducing laminated waterproof textiles to their ranges and uh, wolf are no exception rather than having the textile on the outside and then the water has to saturate through before hitting the waterproof membrane on the inside by having that membrane bonded to the outside of the textile it means the two can work more closely together and the idea is that you stay more dry at first point of contact and that works pretty well in this in this jacket i've tried it for a few hundred miles and been in all sorts of weathers and it, it is effective It's not all about the waterproofing. The Wolf Fortitude comes with quite a good amount of venting. So you've got significant vents here at the chest and they're held closed by magnets, which you just overcome by pulling that back up and then pressing the pop stud there to reveal a zip vent behind. Something you need to know is that the laminate membrane covers the whole vent. So any air coming in also has to pass through that that membrane before it can get to your skin. So don't expect it to be like an arctic blast of cold air coming through because it won't be. But I have felt the benefit and worn this on quite hot days, but it's not quite the same as some other laminate jackets where you can open it up and the whole membrane comes aside to give you a direct to body air vent. That closure is really effective, dead simple. I'm a bit of a sucker for magnets, no pun intended, because they're really, really quick. They're self-locating and you don't have to fiddle about. I found that closing the vent, well, you can do that while riding along because it's so easy. It's a little bit more fiddly to open them because this press stud has to fasten up on here. It's not so easy to do, but these are quite effective, these vents. As well as the two on the front, you've got a similar kind of structure on the back with two quite long vents going down the shoulder blades. The other big deal, I would say, from the exterior of this jacket is that it's absolutely coated in light reflective material. All of the logos are kind of scotch light type material that lights up under a car headlights. So this logo, the logo on the sleeve. And in addition to that, you've got a dot matrix type arrangement on each shoulder blade. So as well as reinforcements for abrasion resistance there, each of those dots lights up under a car's headlight. So it really has got that, that safety element covered. And there's a Wolf logo on the back, which again lights up really brightly under a car's headlight. The main shell has a really simple and traditional fastener, which is chunky zip to do the majority. And then there's a poppered and velcroed storm flap that keeps any rain away from the zip to stop it being able to get through. And then cuff fastener is a really simple arrangement. Not much to say here. Velcro fastener. What that allows you to do is have it as tight or as loose as you want it. There's plenty of room in here to fit a glove inside, but equally you can have it just as tight and have your gloves on the outside. That's not really an option you get if there's just a zip because that's either open or shut. Inside you've got D3O level two armor, which is not the norm. Normally it would only be level one, but this is level two, which is a bit, a bit more impact absorbent. So you've got good level of protection there. That's at the shoulders and the elbows and there's pocket for a back protector. You don't get a back protector included as standard. So that's an optional upgrade, but we'll put the link to the back protector in the description if this is something that interests you. There's a couple of um, pockets, chest pockets to keep wallets and phones. You've got a short connection zip to attach it to the matching trousers, which are available and they're very similar construction. They're £250 and again, we'll put a link to those in the comments below. 
And you've also got this drawstring arrangement at the waist so you can pull it a bit tighter and stop it flapping around. There's also a mat pocket, what's described in every specification for every jacket is a mat pocket at the lower spine. I've never kept a map in one, but I'm guessing it's ideal if you carry maps around with you rather than using a phone or a, a sat nav. Also on the inside, it's got a zip in thermal lining, it's full sleeve, and it's a little bit different to the normal kind of quilted polyester arrangement that are a bit disposable, a bit fly away, and yeah, so what? This, this uses a product called HD Wool, so it's got a woolen thermal lining to it. I rode in this morning and it was much chillier this morning and I kept that, kept that in and I could really feel the benefit of that. Overall I've been really impressed with the Wolf Fortitude in my time with it. I've spent about 800 miles on the road with it in all kinds of weathers and it's really impressed me. It's, it's really effective and I think they've done a good job with this. It's good to see them back doing what they do. I hope that's covered everything you want to know about the Wolf Fortitude but if there's anything you feel we haven't covered then pop a question in the comments below and we'll get back to you about that as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.